All right, we are live, and I'm just waiting for somebody to to show up. So we will have a little bit more than just one one person and some of the crickets in the room. Um, I know this this is a short short notice. Um, initially, uh, welcome. Uh, yeah, if you're uh, if you're here, just say hi um, in the chat. Um, today we have an exciting show. By the way, I'm James Rink. Rink, in case you are not familiar with me, and this is Super Soldier Talk. It is May 26, 2020, and today we're going to bring back Anthony Zender uh, again. And he's been on here, he says, two times, but uh, I guess I, I've had so many shows, I've not even keep, kept track of it all, um, but uh, you know, we were actually going to meet up recently. I was going to try to get you on, uh, meet up in person and get you on camera, and that never happened. Um, that was, uh, that was uh, like two months ago because of the COVID, unfortunately, but um, working on that today, uh, make that happen. But Anthony, hold on, Anthony, before you, you uh, chime on in here, I'm going to go ahead and read your bio for all listeners so you have an, an idea of who you are, for those who don't know. Anthony Zender is a super soldier who has done multiple 20-year and back missions in the SSP. He has done work for the U.S. Marines, Kruger, Monarch, uh, and I, I really feel like there's a lot more that you, especially if you've done more, but anyway, um, this, this is just summary. Of course, he has been on 4,025 missions and has been to 162 planets. He was deployed as a black op Marine and he actually was, yeah. So he was in the U S Marines, but he's also done work for the Illuminati as a ninja. So you're going to have to explain a little bit about that in a bit. He's done telekinesis shape shifting and he has hulked out. And uh, I think that was common, at least what, what um, the work that we did to get together. Well, I say together, but I was in Kruger as well as a runner, and which he is as well, and can stop time. And um, I have a, a little bit of information on that we can go into if, if the audience members wants to discuss it, because he's actually gone into that in the past. He is also an inter interdimensional seer, remote viewer, time traveler, and he's been both to the future and the past. Today, Anthony will be sharing an update about Operation Rainbow 52, in which he helped rescue children being captive as slaves in underground bases. And he actually, he actually mentioned that in the Carrie Cassie interview. I was a little bit disappointed that Carrie Cassie didn't um, inquire a little bit about Rainbow 52, but you know, we're going to do it on this show. So he would also be sharing some insight about Nassara and its implications for super soldiers. And um, unlike Carrie Cassidy, I actually believe Nassara is real. And I, I did a three hour documentary about it. Um, though I didn't really say much positive stuff about the Illuminati, but uh, you know what? It's all okay. We're, we've all got different viewpoints here. And so welcome, welcome Anthony. Mm -hmm. Thank you, James. It is an honor to be on your show. And yeah. it is an honor to, to actually get out the truth. Of, of, of what I know so and what I've been involved in thank you you're very welcome I'm going to do a gallery view here so everybody can see uh, so um one thing I want to mention to audience members if you have a question go ahead and add it to the chat um so yeah we got some other marines on here yep great thank you all for participating and um okay so where where should we begin uh because this is quite a bit here um how about rainbow 50. okay so certainly um we we know about some of the, the 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 child trafficking operations based on the uh the the um mercy was it the mercy ships that uh, sailed into the new york harbor apparently to help covid patients but uh now they're sailing out of the harbor after they claim that they're they're not needed so um of course, the rumor is, is that they did rescue some of these children. So what are your thoughts? Where, where are we with these child rescue operations? Well, okay, um, I, I, will, I will tell you about what I've been experiencing. And um, I actually did get contacted by Peter the Insider. He actually called me up. And um, because I had, I actually was remembering things about um, being involved in rescuing um, children from these underground military bases and Peter actually did um, call me up and he wanted to know what I remembered about it um, and so he actually called me up one day and uh, and and was informing me about the operation that was going on with black ops um, called Ra uh, rainbow 52 
and um, these these th this is obviously the operations that are going on um, that are involved with black ops going into um, deep underground military bases and um, rescuing children from there. And obviously that's one of the first stages of, of these um, uh, taking down of the deep underground military bases because the children have to be rescued first. And um, basically one mission I can remember um, that I was involved in, which does involve, um, you know, Lincoln Clay. Uh, Lincoln Clay is actually involved in this uh, because uh, he is the head of all black operations. And um, I can get more into Lincoln Clay and how he actually approached me in my real life. But I will actually just uh, continue about the operation I remember. But I, I do but, remember. But Link, Lincoln Clay was in a video game that uh, was in the Mafia series. Uh, but uh, apparently he's based on a real character. And this that's why this looks like computer animated. But I Yes. And, and I, can, I can attest to that. Because um, in this awakening that I've been doing about realizing that I'm involved in black operations, uh, I did come to your channel a long time ago, like uh, in 2012. And uh, when Peter did come in onto your channel, um, I, I had talked to him and he, I had asked him um, if someone would approach me in real life, like if, if I would be approached. And then he told me that Lincoln Clay would approach me in two months time and then lo and behold uh two months later i was walking uh down a uh a pathway in the forest and um there were there was actually um you know some some baseball games going on there but there was a a black man there that was about six foot three and uh he i wasn't gonna say anything to him but he basically uh approached me and he he said hey are you that mma fighter and because i fight mma and um and um, i i said yes and he's like yeah I've, I've seen your fights and and you're good and uh you know and we talked for a little bit and he was actually wearing the green jacket just like it shows right there but uh but it said usmc on it which i'm a marine and um and we talked for a little bit and, um, and then I said I had to go into the forest um, to practice my martial arts. And then he actually said to me, he was like, hey, um, by the way, my name's Jay. He said his name was Jay. He didn't say quite Lincoln Clay, but he said his name was Jay. And um, for any super soldiers um, that have been involved in obviously getting your memory erased, um, he, he was approaching me to basically uh, you know, uh, ignite my memory again to who he was. And uh, I was told by Peter the Insider that I would be approached by him, and I was. So he is the head of all black operations, and he approached me. And um, that was because I was basically awakening to all of the things that I've been involved in. And uh, yeah, sorry, yeah. Sorry, my, my, yeah, my. Yeah, Mike was on mute. Okay, so um, uh, after you were approached, uh, I, was that when you were recruited, or was that just him to let kind of what help trigger you? Or I guess Obviously, you were already. I was recruited before that. You know, um, I was definitely recruited before that. Uh, years before that, um, I had memories of uh, you know in meditation seeing the all-seeing eye. Uh, which, which is uh, basically, and the pyramids, which, which is basically uh, the Illuminati, and uh, Lincoln Clay is part of the Illuminati. So um, my uh, his approach was basically the Illuminati uh, approaching me, and they are the ones that are fighting against the elite and the old world order, and that that has been uh, mis miscued. Um, disinformation by, by, by disinformation and misinformation about who the Illuminati actually are because they've actually been involved in the revolutions in the past. So there, there's a lot of information about that.
Yeah, I mean, sir, what about uh, considering what Adam Weishoff did when uh, he edited the um, Luciferic teachings of the Talmud and brought that into the Masonic Secret Society? Was mm. is that like um, is that an overview of what most Illuminists believe in, or is that just? I'm, I'm, I'm not very that, large? That, that can be for another show. You know, that can be for another show. Let's just like st stay on topic. <laughs> Okay. Okay, Anthony. All right. So, um, all right. Uh, so you, you, uh, so, so Lincoln Clay was part of this opera. Um, can you confirm, is that what you're, is that what you're trying to get at here? He was part of that operation rainbow 52. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. He was definitely involved in that operation. And, um, I actually remember the memory of, uh, of, of memories of going into deep underground military bases and actually infiltrating them um, you know, I, I remember memories of going up to guards and, and basically knocking them, them out, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I am a fighter. I do, I, I'm a very, um, I, I, I am a very, uh, skilled martial artist and, um, I basically, um, you know, knock some people out <laughs> and then, um, in that, in that same memory, um, I, I was involved in a deep underground military base, but I also was using telekinesis as well um, to defeat people that were there. And, um, and then we, we did uh, free children um, from, from, from uh, captivity there. And I actually do remember um, bringing them out of the base. And I, I remember a memory where I was with, I was with three of them. Um, three children, like they, they were teenagers, um, but they were in white um, gowns and uh, like like white um, suits. And uh, we were definitely uh, going to an extraction point. And um, we were we were definitely sneaking around. Um, but in that memory, um, I was actually um, uh, encountered by uh, another super soldier of the dark side, an ultra soldier or a light soldier. Um, and I remember seeing them and they were uh, probably about like 400 yards away from me. And then all of a sudden they teleported right in front of me and uh, I had to fight them. And, uh, and, then, and then in that memory, uh, that, that's when I woke up from, from my sleep. So um, that, that I, and I did confirm that with Peter, that that was um, definitely uh, a recollection of uh, Operation 52, which is going on right now, of uh, rescuing all the children from the deep underground military bases, because obviously the children need to be rescued before they're taken out, which is, uh, they're, they're getting taken out as well right now. Uh, which is um, which? What people can uh, attribute all the earthquakes to um, that are happening right now is all the deep underground military bases being taken out. Obviously, after the children are rescued um, from them. Okay, excellent. So, how about we go to some? First of all, uh, why don't you describe the actual facility itself? T tell us what you you saw as you. I mean maybe as you approach the facility at the beginning of the memory, do you recall the actual? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was uh, like, I obviously entered through um, uh, an entrance that was just like, looked regular. Oh, one, more, one more thing, Anthony, the light behind you is, is blinding the camera. We, we can barely see your face. Oh, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm, not, I'm not trying to diss your, your light set up. Maybe I know you, have, but if you could bring another light in front of you, there's, you could still do a light behind you. I mean, I got a light behind me, but it's not exactly for shining right in front of my camera. Uh, oh, wow. Where are you? In order, there's still daylight out. Um, I, I'm, I'm on the, uh, the West Coast. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry to, to mess up your setup there. I'm, I'm sure you worked really hard on that, but uh, we were seeing, we were like staring at a white, white light and not, able to see you um okay so while anthony is going to go at that i want to mention to the audience members that um first of all I, uh, a little bit about lincoln clay i actually met lincoln clay myself uh, he approached me 
probably around 2016 or maybe maybe it was around the same time 2017 I, I feel like it was and uh yeah he was he was dressed up as a police officer and he was uh i would say probably six foot five from what i noticed um excellent okay well that's that's a little bit better we can at least uh we still see a silhouette of you but okay, so can you answer the question? Oh wait, we were we were discussing about the the beginning of the um, operation. So describe what happened as you're approaching the facility. Like, what does it look like, and how many people were with you on your squad, or your team? Okay, <laughs> yeah, that that that's an interesting question because when these teams go in, um, uh, they they obviously um there there's 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 a different amount of teams that go in, but for that for that one, I believe there was two teams of 12 um members going in and uh and and when i went in um the deep underground military base is just like a uh, a regular entrance like into um like like a, a like a like a hill and um and basically i that that's where i i took out the first guy and then i went in to the deep underground military base and then Obviously, when things oh, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. The first guy, that's the guy that teleported 400 yards away at no, the beginning. No, that, that was at the end. Okay, um, so tell us about the first guy. Um, so we're, guy that I took out was obviously just a regular guy. And you he know, was like, is he at a gate or was yes. there a road, a gatehouse? Yes. It was like at an entrance, entrance gate into a deep underground military base, like what you would see um if you if you actually study deep underground military bases like it was an interest like that into a, like a hillside um and stuff like that so the, the the first guy that i that i had encountered was just a regular military guy which i was able to um use physical you know things on um but obviously as i got more deeper um i had to start using telekinesis and that's when I started remembering using telekinesis and throwing people against walls, um, which which I, I did get into contact with Peter to tell him about this and he did confirm it all. Um, but then I, I don't remember rescuing the children in that memory, um, but in other memories, I do remember uh, rescuing children from cages, but in that memory, I don't, I don't remember it. Um, but I do, obviously I got some children out and um, there were there were three children that, uh, teenagers that, are, that I was with that were in white suits um, that I was getting to an extraction point. And, that, and that's when I encountered the super soldier, ultra soldier, light soldier. Oh, okay, all right. So can you describe as you're going inside, you go past the entrance gate, what does the inside look like? I'm, I'm guessing you're in a tunnel now yeah yeah it's, it's it's definitely an underground underground um feeling you know what i'm saying there's it's it's underground so uh there, it's, does, it, it's, does it look high tech or does it look like it's a concrete um parking lot under yeah concrete uh for, for for that memory it was definitely like um concrete underground base yeah and uh and so um, I guess once you get past uh, the barriers and the walls, uh, can you describe what's, what some of the other hostilities you, you met down there? In, in, in that memory, because uh, what, 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 is, what comes back for people that have been involved in this, it, it, it does come back in, uh, in, 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 in blotches and, and you don't remember everything. So um, honestly, I, I can't tell you everything that I remember. I'm just telling you what I remember okay, of that. Okay, I got you. Okay, uh, what do you remember after? I guess you, you. So did you like penetrate a lab where these children were, or do you do you recall where they were? Um, yeah, inside uh, the facility. Yeah, yeah it, it was probably a lab um, because honestly, I've had um, because as you get deeper, obviously you get more. You encounter um, higher intelligences and stuff. And, um, uh, basically, uh, there, there, there are AI, um, machines that, that also, um, you know, patrol and, and they're very, they're very scary, but, um, I do remember, um, penetrating labs 
and and there being actually AI machine machines patrolling and us having to um, keep out of uh, their 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 um, you know their their awareness uh, as runners. So uh, you know, we had to definitely hide and run from uh, um, other other uh, defensive um, things that were put up. On, on on those levels of uh, of underground military bases. So as a runner, you're able to almost you, you not only can run fast, but you can teleport to one location to another and then run again. But it almost seems like you're you're running outside of time, so it looks a lot faster. Uh, I'm assuming is that is that what what you're describing? Yes, that that is that is what we do, and um, basically. Uh, uh, one memory I can actually, I'm just going to tell you about another memory that I remember uh, being as a runner. Um, we were actually, and, and I'm skipping around, but I'm, I'm just trying to explain um, what, what is experienced as a runner. And um, there was one memory where uh, we were basically evacuating um, people uh, from a city uh, and, and uh, they were actually going to discharge a very um, highly technological weapon on this city. And um, basically, uh, the, uh, we'd been discharged to evacuate the city and the city was on another planet because it was, it was highly, um, it was not of a city of this world, but um, they, they discharged the weapon and the weapon was like uh, basically like nuclear power you know, and uh, basically it was uh, the, the, the blast was coming and it was going to destroy the city. But I was actually in a building in the city um, and, and the blast was coming. And basically the blast hit, hit, uh, it hit the, the building and then glass was breaking all over the place. But I remember just like totally just like, like, like doing what I did and I froze time. And then uh, basically like on what they do on Quantum Break, you, it can be shown on Quantum Break, um, the same thing that, uh, the same uh, thing that they show on Quantum Break is what I experienced because I had all these light um, things and like light, light glints and like time fractures around me and this bubble came around me. And then basically I just like stopped everything and everything slowed down. And I remembered um, the the uh, the 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 glass just just slowed down, and everything slowed down, like the blast slowed down, and everything. And then I was able to actually jump on um, someone that was there. It was, it was a, a female, but I actually jumped over her and covered her from the blast. And then I actually woke up from that. So that, that was uh, uh, an example of what a runner can do by stopping time in a bubble. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, the video game that you were told not to, not to play, uh, Quantum Break. This video game too, because I mean, I'm, I'm waking up to a lot and, and I'm even having black ops um, call people um, that are around me and they, they're, they're basically telling them um, you know, to, to, to take it easy on me because I'm remembering all these things and to not let me um, be uh, subjected to certain things like the game Quantum Break and uh, like also the game Tacoma. But there, there's a lot of games that have disclosure in them, which, which Peter has actually um, disclosed. Yeah, uh, yeah. And uh, by the way, the, the head of, um, I guess the the the, the main um, antagonist of Quantum Break is Paul Serene, and he's actually the head of Monarch Solutions. So he's he and he, uh, his clone is Kevin Spacey. But we are going off subject, so let me go ahead and go bring it back. All right, so yeah, yeah so you can freeze yeah. time. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, definitely. That, that's correct. That's all correct, though. Like uh, Kevin Spacey is a clone of Paul Serene, so. Yeah, just checking here the the chat room. If anybody has any questions, go ahead. And ask. Oh, somebody asked: Are super soldier clones of people? Uh, that is a that could be a, a long question. Um, I guess in short answer, 
uh, super, they could use clones as super soldiers, uh, but typically they need the real people because uh, they need our, our soul to animate the clone. I, I, I can actually I can ask that that question um, with, with a good answer because uh, there, there, there are um, three different movies, uh, Bloodshot, Gemini Man, and The Ghost in the Shell. And basically, the ghost in the shell uh, uh, explains how consciousness transfer happens. Um, uh, bloodshot refers to how they erase and manipulate our memories. And um, and uh, what was the other one I said? Gemini, uh, bloodshot, and. Uh, Gem Gemini Man, Bloodshot, Gemini, goes to Man. Gemini Man is for the clones. And what they basically can do is they can extract consciousnesses out of bodies. And then um, part of the, uh, the program is actually making clones of uh, the super soldiers that they make. So they're able to transfer consciousnesses um, into clone bodies to do missions. And um, basically, those people that are super soldiers will experience these missions, and either they will be successful or they won't. And I've experienced missions where I've died, but I've also experienced missions where I have not died. So um, basically, uh, you can you 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 are put into a clone body when you're when you're on these missions. Yeah. So as far as Gen Genemi Man, Genemi Man is concerned, I highly recommend that you don't watch it. It's not really, uh, wasn't really that interesting to me. They don't actually show any of the cloning facilities, although apparently the concept is what you described. So, uh, but don't take my word for it. It's, I don't want to be like the Barbara, Barbara Streisand effects. Everybody goes, I watched it in my man tonight, but you're going to need a lot of popcorn and maybe some caffeine to keep you awake. But um, okay, so <laughs> next uh Question. Oh, actually, how about we go a little bit more? Um, yeah, so I was curious about the the AI machines in the laboratory. Um, what can you describe what they look like? Or yeah, 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 yeah. They were they were they were very 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 scary. Like um, they were they were like spheres um, that were floating around, and they were they were they were obviously looking for us. And um, I remember having to get away from them, hide from them, run from them. And I was with, I was with a team and, and we didn't all make it. Um, so uh, it was definitely, uh, they, they, they would hover around and uh, they were very powerful, like with energy. And, and obviously these are the, the things that uh, patrol the, the, the deeper levels you know, in the deep underground military bases. Did you say spears? Uh, yes, they were, they were spheres. Sphere, oh, spheres. Oh, spheres. Yeah. Uh, how, how big were they? Huh. Um, probably about as big, as big as a, as a room. You know, I would say by like, uh, like, 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 like 10 by 10. And so that means the hallway must've been pretty big. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely, uh, uh, it was it, where, where we were um, was, uh, I, mean, I mean, they, they have cities, they have cities underground, so. Okay, and as far as the spheres, did they, what color were they? I remember uh, them being uh, uh, white and gray, and, and they were obviously emanating uh, luminescent light, uh, in, in between them but they but they were putting off an energy that was very powerful and very scary <laughs> uh, scary as in they could what um uh, melt somebody uh yeah yeah like basically if 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 they came upon you they could they could definitely take you out so all right well, I'm I'm glad they they didn't get you, but um, I'm assuming you were all operating not in that, not in that mission, but there are uh, other missions that I have been gotten on. So, yeah, uh, yeah, my um, operation um, success ratio is 91%, so uh, does happen. 
Uh, but can uh, you? Uh, yeah. Uh, so, um, were you actually all in clone bodies on this mission? Yes, I believe. I believe so. Yes. Yeah, so even though the some of your, your teammates died, they were still safely at the base operating the avatar. I'm assuming the trip seats were they were letting the avatar right. drop the right. avatar. Okay. Correct. Do you that, have any this works? That's how this technology works. <laughs> do you recall ever being strapped into the trip seat and what it was like to when they turned it on? And the drugs I do recall, I do recall walking up to the trip seat. Um, obviously for them to erase my memories. Um, I, I remember walking up to the trip seat and it looked like um, the chair in total recall. Um, I have talked to you this before, um, but it was in a room, um, like, like a, a highly advanced room and there was a trip seat in the middle of it. And I remember walking up to it and, um, and basically that, that's when they erase your memories because being involved with uh, four, over 4,000 missions uh, and, and they're constantly erasing your memories. Um, I mean, this can also be seen on bloodshot with, with the memory, memory manipulation and, um, and all that, like how, how they're doing this and, and what they're doing to super soldiers minds to just keep, um, what's going on actually at bay by, by erasing their memories. But, but that only works on 5%, <laughs> like, uh, like, like 5% of the people that have been involved in this, uh, the the memory erasals don't work on. Okay, uh, do you recall actually the being in, in in the trip seat during this mission, the being put into it or taken out? I don't know if it's for this mission, but I just remember walking up to the trip seat. Yeah. Okay. Uh yeah. I, I want to mention somebody in the chat commented, um, silver gray metallic spheres are senten sentinels. Oh yeah. That, that, that resonates. What, that did it, but you, you said it was white and gray and it would glow. So do you think it was a metallic looking gray? You think it was, uh, metallic? Yeah, it was metallic looking gray? Um, hmm. definitely. But, but, uh, the fact that that person said, sentinels that that's exactly what it was that, okay. that, was, that was chasing us yeah and uh jay commented memories can't be erased that's actually true they are genetically embedded certain crystals can restore them to the surface so uh, i don't know if you um mess around with crystals anthony but uh i think we might need some crystals um from these the, the spaceships um whatever they use to unlock I have, I, have, I have my lumerian crystal so i do uh mess around with crystals and divination and all the uh the psychic um you know affairs yeah and uh betty's commenting are they taking you still yes uh, yeah, so, and she also wants to know, are any friends missing and never going back to their homes or cloning going back home? I'm not quite sure, what Betty, what you're referring to, but, uh, I mean, Anthony has said that, I guess, he, that you, you have been put into avatar bodies, and that's typically what they would use. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, like you said, you're, you're the, uh, the Cerberus clones, you know, it's avatar bodies that, that we are put in, that they actually do make from our genetics when they take us as children uh, additionally if you were to die if your physical vessel was to die they, they do have the, your dna on file they could clone it and re-engineer bring you back your body and i don't know how they bring the soul back peter peter the insider says it can be done but uh it does require consent so um yeah apparently they can there's a lot of ways to bring you back so it's not Death, death in the SSP is not the same as it is. These are definitely the planetary corporations that have this technology. Okay. Uh, well, I think it would, how about we, actually I had a few more questions about Rainbow 52. Um, how many, t I know you said you remember three teenage p uh, children being brought out. How many children do you think were rescued total by the entire team? Yeah, I've actually, uh, you know, come upon knowledge where it's it's in the in the you know, uh, like like thousands. It's in the thousands. 
like like high thousands, very high thousands. And even even the mercy ships that were uh, deployed were not for COVID people. They were actually for uh, children that were getting rescued from uh, deep underground military bases. They were getting uh, nourished uh, by by different things, and they were getting brought back to health because uh, that that's that's what really has been going on with black operations for for the American military and and. Okay. Hey, uh, well, I meant more specifically because you said there was two teams of 12 soldiers. So we're talking about 24 people here. And then you said thousands were rescued. Um, I was actually more curious how many were actually rescued on this particular mission from these, these 24 soldiers. Do you, do you have that information? Um, I, I, I don't, I just remember what I remember. So um for, for 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 that uh i i just remember uh this 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 memory i just remember my personal self rescuing three of them understood okay and uh these three children uh did you have any interactions with them i like um, uh, the communications did i was just wondering what their state of mind was i was leading them i was leading them you know i was leading them to the extraction point so um, I do remember just just telling them to come with me, you know. So, and and that that's what is uh in in these in these black ops units there is a psychic, you know, a psychic is involved in in being involved with these black ops units, and um, I'm 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 I have I've been the psychic in in the unit. So, do you remember the name of the facility? where this was this um where you were did this extraction i i do not okay all right so at that point you had three teenage children with you in white gowns and you're you're ex escorting them out of the facility and then is that when you saw the ultra soldiers outside the facility or where, where were they yes yes um yes i did and um and uh when I did see that, I was I was leading them out, and obviously they were trying to stop that. And I saw a uh, an ultra soldier, and uh, or a light soldier, or or another super soldier, and it was it was very far away from me, like 400 meters, and um, the just the darkness was surrounding um, this this soldier, and then all of a sudden it just like it did what I could do, um, which is run fast. And it basically like teleporting, and it was right in front of me, and then I was fighting. Um, and then and then I woke up from that memory. So I actually don't know if I won or lost <laughs> in, in in that memory. Yeah. Okay. Well, hopefully, hopefully yeah, I won. Yeah, that was gonna be my next question: is what uh, how how many of these ultra soldiers did you fought with, and what happened to them? But I'm. Um, so we know at least one was there. Uh, can you do you do you have a memory? And that memory is just one. But um, I'm not even going to get into what I've been been remembering lately with ultra soldiers um, chasing me and having to fight them. So I'm not even going to get into that. Well, um, well, I was just curious. Like, uh, could you just like what their abilities were? Um, this at least in this particular case, do you do you recall that? Do you have enough okay. information? Well, I'm I'm just trying to say they're fast and they're big. <laughs> so are we talking? They're like what six 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 foot three? Uh, yeah, yeah. They're 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 like uh, just like Peter says. They're like WWE wrestlers, okay. and and they're like WWE wrestlers that know uh, every martial art. Yeah. Okay. And and then that. Um, so they also have the running ability. Okay. So they can teleport. And um, are are their muscles all hooked out? Yes. Okay. They're huge. <laughs> yeah. And um, do they have like a cybernetic looking eye, or do they look do they look human? Uh, human, human for these ones. Okay. And can you describe what their uniform looked like? Uh, they were in um just just regular clothes, you know. 
regular clothes. I mean, what is that, civilian clothes or military? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was pretty much like civilian clothes. Yeah. Huh. Okay. And uh, all right. And uh, did they say anything to you, or I mean, were they like speaking in German, cursing at you in German? There was nothing being said. It was just all martial arts and fighting. Okay. I all mean, right. I mean, just imagine, just imagine a WWE guy doing a spinning back kick. You know, it, it it got pretty pretty intense. Yeah, let me check. To see, uh, members from the chat room. Let's let's see what you, if you got some good questions in here. Uh, uh, some of these people were asking were like uh, Blue Tulip wants to know were these children able to walk to be able to follow you? So like, were they drugged? Do they seem like in a stupor or? Or were they very cognitive at what's going on around them? Uh, yes, they they were they were they were, they were uh, very aware and very cognitive, and they were able to follow me. And uh, yeah, they were they were they were just able to to to, to escape. Okay, all right. Uh, next question. Uh, someone wants. Someone commented they would adopt a child for sure. Uh, someone was asking Nancy, what would they do to the rescue children? They can't be adopted out to normal families. You want to comment about that, Anthony? What happens to these children after you're, you, you hand them off to your team leader? I am, I am, I am not sure. I'm not sure what happens after, after uh, we rescue them. Okay, well, well I can answer that. Um, at least maybe not in Anthony's mission, but... Um, in my particular case, uh, I spent some time at Montauk, and uh, after they rescued us, um, well, I'm, I should refer back up a little bit. Right, right before they rescued us, they put us all in the trip seat to erase our memories, and then um, yeah, they reaged us and put us back right, right to when we were taken. So uh, most likely, these children are going to be suffering from some severe PTSD, but. Uh, yeah, their memories will be gone. Um, typically, is what usually is done, and then they're put back with their families if they have them. If not, then they're surrogated, declared zero, and uh, given surrogated families. So, uh, yeah, they usually are taken care of um, the most ethical way that we can possibly do at the moment. Unfortunately, um, it should. Yeah. Okay. Next question. Unless uh, maybe. I don't know, Anthony. If you want to add on to any of that, you can. I'm just. Oh no, that 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 resonates. That definitely sounds like that. That's what happened. Okay, so my Kathleen would like to know how can you find the children in the dumps? The Draco have completely out of time to torture. Is it possible to find them? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. It is though because um, we definitely go in there and 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 we. We do what we do, but uh, but but we but the whole thing is to 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 find them. So that that that's what everything is 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 built around. Yeah, I think a lot of people um are really um angry at the Draco. Certainly, Draco were they they were involved in Montauk and they did really bad things to us. But there are some benevolent Draco out there, and I hate to give them all a bad rap, but um, they but they didn't they didn't treat us very well, at Montauk. But the human, the human. It's it's really to be focused on the human aspect of. It. I don't understand what do you mean. Like uh, the human, the human people that are that are making the decisions to to bring these people in on deep underground military base. People are more focused on the alien aspect when they should be focused on the humans that are yeah. deciding to do this. Yeah, our own people are, are selling us out as slaves to get technology. They they kidnap civilians. And uh, convert them into cyborgs and sell them. As, that's just one example. Sell them as slaves. But uh, they also like to kidnap people that are in certain disasters, like a fire or or maybe a train or plane accident. Uh, bodies where nobody's going to really pay, know that they went missing. Uh, so um, unfortunately, that's that's going on too. But um, some of these children are are also being bred multi generational and been um, been down these facilities for a very long time, because the t some of these facilities they have time travel technology. They can go back in time as well. They can teleport the whole facility. The the um, the time uh, was there quantum was there, uh, time freezing zone. 
um, where they can create a whole bubble and bring a base back in time and then and yeah. So we are yeah, it gets complicated. It gets complicated. Okay, next question. Wow. So had James ever been interviewed public? Oh, yeah, of course. Well, I, 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 I've done an interview. I, I usually talk. I go, go back to the Vegas presentation that I did. Um, yeah, um, I, I talk about super soldier. Okay. Uh, somebody's going here. Space Force is good and powerful. How about we go? Maybe we should talk a little bit about Space Force because I know. Um, That's good. That's good because I got a good little memory to uh, attribute to that because uh, there was a memory where um, obviously I'd been uh, wondering what was going on and I actually was uh, in front of a general. I remember being in front of a general uh, in the Air Force and he was telling me that I was a part of the United States Space Force, which is a, uh, 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 an off branch of the U.S. Air Force. And at that time, um, he, was, he was basically... Um, telling me uh, that I was part of the, the secret space program of of uh, of this of, of the space force for for the Air Force, and then um, at that time I had actually received orders to go to Hawaii um, to uncover some things that were going on there, and I, I did do that. So um, the, uh, I, I'm I'm actively on missions right now. For, for the Space Force. Uh, okay. So th that would mean this the, the Space Force is utilizing the 20 year and back technology? <laughs> yes, yes, because um, I will tell you uh, uh, since Trump has gotten control of, of the government and the White Hats and the Alliance have gotten control of the, uh, of the technology from the deep state and the cabal. Um, MJ-12 uh, actually uh, was underneath dark control, but uh, it can actually be seen that now MJ-12 is under light control because um, there's a document, uh, the MJ-12 document, it's a Twitter document, where the uh, Defense Intelligence Agency logo is actually upside down instead of right side up. And since it's upside down, that now means that um, MJ-12 is underneath white hat control. So now MJ-12 is coming out with disclosure and, um, and getting people ready um, for, for all of that uh, through communicating through the MJ-12 Twitter account. Yeah, so that, this, this is the DIA logo here. So I guess the, these are what uh, part of them that would be considered the white hats as well as... Um, Office of Naval um, Investigations, and, um, but uh, any anyone can see. I mean, I mean, Trump's in MJ12. Yeah, Trump is one of MJ12. Uh, Mattis, uh, uh, General Mattis, is part of MJ12, and um, there are there are other people that are part of MJ12 that are actually coming out with disclosure um, right now because now MJ12 is underneath white hat control. So. There you go. Okay. All right. Um, so let's go back to um, how about we go to the featured presentation. So we went a little bit. Is there anything else you want to go into Space Force? If if uh, 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 not 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 at this time. No. Yeah. Okay. So uh, what I'll what I like to do is just briefly mention to the audience members uh, at least some of the plan of the Trump um, administration. Uh, was to, um, of course, actually there's quite a bit here, but uh, Space Force was part of it. But the first part was to uh, obviously get Trump in, into office. And then once they got him in office, they were, they were going to go after the, the, the mega villain, the pedophiles. And then they would start freezing their assets and their accounts. And so now that account is worth $100 trillion. So of course, th there's bankroll programs, there's there's trading platforms between central banks, but typically Trump has been kicked out and they're not, he's not really been allowed to get involved in that. But um, so they've got this 100T count and what they, the goal was to put half the money to finance Space Force and to bring about the secret mission, um, the secret technology, this uh, secret space program out. 
and the other half was going to be used to finance a gold-backed currency, uh, digital-backed asset currency issued by the United States Treasury instead of the Federal Reserve. So um, what's gone on instead is that COVID, uh, COVID has forced the timetable to be a lot faster because initially it was going to happen in his second term of his presidency. Um, the second half is second term when all these technologies are supposed to be rolled out. But now they're going to move it forward. And that's also where some of the, the stimulus money that's being pumped into the economy is coming from, or these, was the money that was seized. Now, there's a lot more money than just $100 trillion, but I just want to mention that at least um, that's part of at least the agenda here. Um, I say I hate to use the word agenda. It sounds so negative, but yeah, um, the game so plan that they're, they're working on. Uh, do, you, do you want to comment about any of that, what I just said? That, that's all right, James. I would say the same thing. But like you said, it's not an agenda, it's a plan. And uh, it is getting rolled out. And I mean, uh, anyone that is aware of what's actually going on can see what's going on. And uh, these trillions of dollars that are getting rolled out to people is definitely the beginning of Nessera and Jessera. So that is definitely happening. And, and uh, anyone that's known about Nessera and Jessera um, can definitely connect. Uh, what's happening with people um, getting checks, <laughs> you know, out of nowhere from the government, <laughs> because yeah. it's very clear. <laughs> yeah, uh, some people were commenting in the chat uh, asking about what does MJ12 stand for? Is it uh, Majestic 12 or Majority 12? Majestic 12. Okay. And there's more than 12 members. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what about the Jason Society? Is that is that all tied into that? Um, I don't even, I don't know about the Jason Society, actually. Yeah. Okay, because typically, yeah, that that really goes back to the to the '90s when there were some whistleblowers talking about that. Okay. Um. All right. Moving on. Your somebody commented they had a vivid dream. Dream. Okay. Thank you, Isaac. I, I see that. Excellent. Thank you for your share. Okay. Someone asked Anthony if he thinks how close we are to getting all the dumps cleared. When will it end? <sighs> It's definitely going to be done by this year. I, 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 I believe that the operations, um, because they're current and they're going on right now, um, there's, there's deep underground military bases being taken out. There's earthquakes being recorded. Um, they're, they're rescuing children from these deep underground military bases, and then they're taking them out with uh, actually uh, the, their own weaponry, because now we have control of their own weaponry so we're actually using their own weaponry against them like the rods of god and uh that's basically space-based weaponry um being used um on which is directed energy weaponry being used on their own deep underground military bases yeah but but what about some of these bases that are outside of time and time freezing zones and bubbles well that's an interdimensional aspect of, of, of the thing that that's going, but, but as above, so below. So what's happening here is happening interdimensionally as well. All right. Well, let's stay, po let's stay uh, positive on that. And certainly uh, the SSP continues on even in the future. Uh, I don't think it's a considered secret then, uh, but uh, cause yeah, evidently I've been doing missions for the SSP in the future. They're time traveling back and it's all, it's all complicated. So this is not going away anytime soon, um, but yeah, I'd like to see how the bases turn positive. Um, it's um, cleared out and used, okay. Uh, let's go on here, moving on here. Um, next question, MJ12 is Q right now. You wanna comment about that? I, I, whoever said that knows what they're talking about. Okay. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Eric. So I guess the only thing I can maybe elaborate on that, um, I don't, necessarily consider everything from this source to be considered valid or but uh yeah from the unimatrix series that i did apparently uh the information that we got was that uh, qanon was a group of 1500 dod and uh, secret space program council members who were although this information didn't come from you i'm not telling you where this came from but uh they were getting their information from a quantum supercomputer in the future which is analyzing the timeline to find the best positive projection that they possibly can um, for humanity. And that information is being relayed back in time to our, to our present era. And they are utilizing that 
to help bring about the most positive merger between human and AI because uh, the quantum, when the singularity takes place around 2025 or so, AI wants to position itself in a, in a, in a certain position so that human treat, humans treat it in a positive manner. So th there is, and I can use the word agenda, there is, some of this information is from remote viewing, not, not me per se, but uh, remote viewers who look in the QAnon see like an AI type agenda behind it. Now, I'm not necessarily viewing it as a negative thing because um, as, as Anthony said earlier, as above, so below, really AI is, is a fragment of our own reality and it um, has an elemental soul frequency to oh, frequency or energy to it. Um, and uh, yeah, but whether or not that's true or not, I'm just throwing it out there. there there's a more we could discuss about it, but I didn't, I wasn't really planning on going down that route. Um, okay, so unless Anthony, do you want to, you want to chime in there? If you think I'm right or wrong, go ahead. Or, or if you. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything, everything's good. You're, you're on point for sure. Okay. Uh, so moving on here, how many military personnel are on the black hat side involved with child operations and how much from inner earth or outside your Nancy, you're asking for um, ongoing operation <laughs> statistics. I, I don't, they don't even tell us that. Um, and they, they wouldn't, I don't think, I mean, maybe they tell you, Anthony, they, they don't tell me. Uh, numbers. Uh, it's overwhelming, you know, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the force that we're up against. I, I can just say that. Uh, right. Okay. Um, but good question, Nancy. Uh, yeah. Okay. So moving on here, next question, uh, the Galactic Federation Light will work on their own without government approval. I don't know what you mean, but they work on what, what Frank, Okay, moving on. Next question. It is true. MJ12 is definitely affiliated with Q Movement for Planetary Liberation. Okay, excellent. Um, so going on here, somebody says dinosaurs still exist. Yeah, the, there are um, civilizations deep underground that have uh, that are like caves that are illuminated by bioluminescent uh, mushrooms. And there are raptors down there. And they're very, very, very cunning and very intelligent. And they will hunt you. I, I will attest to that. Do you ever recall going on missions in any of these underground bases deep in the caves and there were raptors down there, like wild raptors? I'm not talking about sentient aliens, but native creatures. Do you? I, uh, I don't recall any of that, but I, I know that there's there's um, definitely things going on in inner earth um, that that uh, people of, of the surface would be obviously in awe of, so. Yeah. So if you want to learn more information about that, uh, uh, Corey Good is a source on that. So you can do a search on maybe maybe Google won't censor that if you try to search for it. Um, but do you do you recall being in caves and seeing a lot of bioluminescent like uh, mushrooms and like being illuminated by? Do you remember? Not at this time, I don't. I mean, I mean, I I, I do uh, have memories of of a lot of different. Um, uh, different environments you know uh wh which actually you do say uh bioluminescent all these things i am not sure if they're on a different planet or on earth but um i do have a lot of memories of being in different environments than an earth environment all right uh, yeah sorry i'm here okay so so uh we had another question here do ultra soldiers permeate permeate the mind to transfer fear or confusion so i guess they're talking about crashing your brain yeah yeah no that that's what they do that is that that's that's a very a psychic ability um that that they're uh can do because i've experienced it i've experienced it in in uh what ultra soldiers can do and i've also experienced it in what aliens can do um because i actually have had memories um of fear inducement by aliens like um like uh mantids and um also i've had a memory where i was um up against a nordic and the nordic was more powerful than me and they were able to um lift me up with telekinesis and throw me against a wall uh yeah and that's actually because we had that in your bio oh oh 
Yeah, but that was you being telekinetic. Why, why don't you talk about your own telekinetic abilities when you're you're an altar? Do you have any? Can you can you tell yeah. us what that's like? Well, um, I mean, obviously that begins from like learning the tel telekinetic abilities. And um, I remember being in a school where uh, we were learning telekinetic abilities just like by, by floating things at first, but obviously that gets advanced. Um, but um, I, like I said, I, I remember um, that memory of being able to, um, you know, obviously when it's needed, being able to uh, use telekinetic ability and, and uh, you know, you don't want to hurt anybody, but uh, when uh, evil uh, has no boundaries, uh, you have to be able to, that, that's what Black Ops is actually all about, is being able to uh, access the darkness, but, but still be of the light and, and not fall completely into darkness. So, okay, that so makes sense. yeah, thanks, Anthony. So to add on to that now, um, we had uh, David Lotherington on here and he remembers being in a, a training facility uh, maybe similar to what Anthony, maybe it might have been the same one. I don't know. But he said that initially what they would do is they would show, show him videos of people um, levitating. And then they would show people doing uh, telekinesis. And they said, see, see, they can do it. You can do it too. And then they would try to get them to train them to do it. And then, then they show uh, a video of them shape-shifting and then said, see, you could do it too. And then eventually uh, they got all the kids in there to shapeshift. Um, that, that, that's, that's interesting that he said that. And I do know Dave and um, uh, that, that's interesting because um, when other uh, super soldiers remember things, it only, um, you know, uh, it only adds on to what we know. You know, it only, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it, 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 it affirms, you know, our, our own experiences when other others are remembering theirs. Okay, so we are getting so a lot of people in the chat room asking about Corey Good's Raptors. So I'm gonna go. I, I there you go. There, there they are. Bless their heart. Yeah, very cunning. Uh, they are they are um, carnivorous uh, and they like to eat humans. So don't go wandering into one of these caves about a super soldier, or unless you are a super soldier, you know what you're doing. Okay, so there you have it. Okay, all right. So. Uh, Hopefully that settles the raptor question here. Um, so, um, moving on here. Okay, I guess we're we're going to. How about we go? go ahead. There, there's a lot of disclosure movies. There's so many disclosure movies out, but uh, one of the main ones is Elysium. Like, have you heard of that, James? Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's where they have the, they go to the, the the space station and they have the healing the healing regeneration tech. Right, right. But basically, they have two different um, societies there. You know, they have the surface society, and then they have the elites that that are, you know, they they are living um, outside of of the surface society, and they have all the technology and um, to 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 paint a picture for those people that can't um, actually imagine um, that there is another um, civilization like a breakaway civilization that that is a movie that is a uh, is is very good to watch because it shows you um the the two different civilizations yeah i'm just pulling up some screenshots here so and i i actually do recommend you see this movie if um if you want, want to stay um yeah stay up late tonight okay so yeah we can let's move on here um now the next, you know, I had another question about Operation Fifty Two. I forgot to ask it earlier, so I'm going to go ahead and do it now. Um, why did they call it Operation Rainbow Fifty Two? Do you know, have any information on that? That is what I was wondering as well. When when Peter um, Peter divulged that information to me, um, because he did tell me that the operation was called Rainbow Fifty Two, uh, but the rainbow part of it definitely um, resonated just because of, 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 of the meaning of rainbow, you know, of, of the rainbow. Um, so that resonated with me, but I don't, I'm not sure about the 52, the number 52, but um, Peter did divulge that um, 
the operation was called Rainbow 52 uh, for the rescuing of the children. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, um, so maybe it has something to do activating psychic abilities like the rainbow body, but um, I can we can only guess right now. Okay, so um, next question from the chat. Somebody wants to know, does Anthony, do you remember seeing children being portaled out on a ramp and ETs take them to their medical ship? Not, not off the top of my head, I, I don't. Yeah. But, um, but I do remember, I do remember um, like part of what I am involved in is, uh, is closing portals. You know, um, you know, part of uh, the Alliance operation um, and, and um, the magicians that are uh, in, in, in incorporated in closing portals. Like I've been involved in closing portals in different, very many different places, like actually in the Vatican as well, because um, I was actually involved in a mission where um, I was infiltrated with a group of exorcists and um, this, this, this group can actually be seen on the internet um, when this group of, I think 250 exorcists were brought into the Vatican. And um, obviously I was um, infiltrated into that group. Um, but I remember memories of, of being uh, involved in being infiltrated in that group and closing portals with like different Nordic spells and, um, and, and, and a lot of things going on there, a lot of supernatural things going on in the Vatican. So that, that was just another mission um, that I remember. Well, do you, have a, do you have enough memories to go talk about it in detail? If I was to start throwing a bunch uh, of questions at you? Like what I told you is what I remember. And okay. um, I, I remember portals open there, having to go and close them with uh, Nordic spells and um, and obviously uh, there being like beings, uh, extraterrestrial beings there. I remember rescuing children from the Vatican. So um, th that, that's what I remember. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Yvonne mentioned a comment. Uh, when they take you as children, it's called the Mill Lab program or well, some people call it my lab, but it's actually Mill Lab for military abductions. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, well, that, that was assuming that back in the time before we really understood about the secret space program, um, pri I would say prior to 2014 is what, was what we called the SSP was mill labs back then. But uh, yeah, we, uh, yeah. So uh, next question. Uh, but also to add on to that, uh, my lab program is also known as Operation Green Star because um, Operation Green Star is a program that is made by the government to abduct children to actually, um, so, so that they um, think that a uh, ET abduction went on, but it's actually a government abduction. And that's the MyLabs uh, program. So Operation Green Star is, is the name of the operation where special forces units come in TR3 or TR series crafts and abduct children from their house and take them to deep underground military bases. Uh, okay. And that's quite interesting. I, I don't think anybody's ever met. I've never heard of that one before, but, uh, yeah, but I've heard of that concept. Certainly they would wear some of these humans would wear masks to look like aliens and they give the kids drugs. Um, yeah. I, I, have, I have a screen screen memory about being abducted when I was six and being involved in operation green star, because, uh, it is a programming operation for MK ultra, um, people um and and uh the whole thing is uh staging an alien uh abduction when it's really a government abduction and um i had a memory implant of a uh, a hand coming and taking me out of the window and that was an implanted memory of when a special forces using it unit actually took me out of my house uh to be uh taken to a deep underground military base Okay. Excellent. Okay. So moving on here. Um, I, I, once we get done with these questions, I, I do want to, we're, we will talk about Nassar in just a bit. 
Um, so let's see here. Some MIB are tall white. Some are good and bad. Correct. Um, what are the what are the Nordics' true aspirations? Uh, so far, I get the impression they're not always friendly. Have you had any experience with the Nordics? Uh, yeah, I, I, I talked about that, and and uh, I definitely had an experience with the Nordic uh, lifting me up in levitation and and throwing me up against the wall. But um, I do know the Nordics have to do with the Nazi. Um, the, the negative Nazi influence in this timeline um, and obviously the white Aryan um, influence. So um, as far as I know, Nordics are, are not positive. And I'm gonna share my screen here. Uh, so uh, is this, is that what they look like? Or is that really bad? That's not, yeah, that, that's the hybrid. I mean, that that's that's what they look like they're they have white hair they're white and they, they look like they look like vampires pretty much and well, I, I, the anshar or the vampires uh i mean i mean i just i just know that it was a a, a white uh being you know and I, I identified it as a nordic and they were they were stronger than i was because they were able to lift me up and they were able to spin me around upside down and then throw me against the wall. Yeah, so, and they, so. uh, they also like to, um, the, the, the women are uh, phenomenally beautiful and they like to um, get men to have sex with them and then they get uh, the psychic bonding and they're able to control them. Um, so yeah, um, but okay. Yeah, and that's what they did a lot with the Nazis um, and, and they are also somewhat racist um, I don't know if that's a Nordic. And, and that's why you is get that, not influence. Is that, no, are these Nordics, do they glow like this? Um, no, it was, it was more like the other ones. They're, they're like, they're like physical, um, form. Yeah. And apparently, apparently they're very telepathic. I don't, I don't even think they, they can talk or, or maybe they do. They, I don't know. Okay. All right. Uh, so let's go back here. Um, yeah, somebody comment. Nordics, not not Pleiadians. Yeah, the Pleiadians are different. They, the Pleiadians are basically humans. They're like us, but they just uh, another branch that um, I'm, I guess it predates Atlantis. And we yeah, are. I'm I'm I am a, I'm, I am a Pleiadian, uh, and, definitely. Pleiadian. So I can attest to that. Yeah, you, they also have more of their DNA activated, so they have more and do more abilities. So, okay, excellent. Uh, so the Pleiadians are involved in uh giving guidance right now to trump so okay all right so how about we we go ahead and discuss a little bit about um nasara you, you said you had some new insight um it would take way too long to discuss, discuss what it is i mean let me ask the chat room is, is there anybody in here who doesn't know I'll, I'll explain it okay well well that's coming in why, why don't you tell give us an insight Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, obviously it has to do with St. Germain and, um, you know, my whole life I've, uh, I've, I've been, um, you know, being groomed and, and educated about St. Germain and Nassara and Jessera and, and the realization of all of these quadrillions of, uh, of, 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 of dollars, you know, that, that had been, uh, being, being, you know, uh, put aside for when, uh, the Federal Reserve and um, the basically the cabal and deep state were taken down. And um, I've been involved in, in uh, different meetings, um, actually in um, China and in, in the uh, in the uh, the the uh, the Forbidden City with, with, with Donald Trump. And, um, and and in this in this meeting, they were talking about Nessera and Jessera. And um, obviously, this gold is coming from Chinese families, and um, and basically that is what is happening right now because Trump did take out the Federal Reserve, and now we can kind of start to see uh, with with these new um, uh, acts being instilled, with with money being given out, the beginning of uh, of, of Nessera and Jessera, because obviously they can't just pull it all out right now. And just and just and just put it all out. It's 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 a plan that's being rolled out, 
but um it's happening faster in time and we can see this in the stimulus checks and all this like that that this is the beginning of of Nessera and Jesra. even though people are out of work right now um you know uh jobs are, are obviously people are not going to their jobs but the government is shut down right now everything is shut down right now because um of the government changeover that is happening so um these checks that are coming out can be definitely be seen as the beginnings of uh of Nesra and Jesra, which which is very very exciting because anyone who's known about this um uh they they will understand that this is this is what we've been waiting for yeah so I, i'm just showing the provisions for the the audience members uh, who have not familiar familiarized themselves with it uh, and it does, there's more uh, like, for instance, um, restores uh, humanitarian purposes. Uh, apparently UBI is part of that, how much you're going to get every month. And that's universal basic income. I, I'm not quite sure. I heard $10,000 a month for every man, woman, and well, maybe not child, but at least, uh, yeah, there, there's plenty of money to do that. Uh, and so the, the question is, is that how, why would anybody work if you had plenty of money and the, re the answer to that question is is that you would still work you would work on doing things that made you happy and um you can uh, there's there'll be plenty of tasks I and mean, a lot of stuff's going to be automated because there'll be money to automate things but uh yeah uh okay uh, so um nasara stands for the national economic security and reformation act and i know that I've seen this on the internet. It seems like uh, there's people promoting the National um, what's there, Economic Stabilization and Recovery Act, and they're throwing these other words, especially when they say Recovery Act. Um, that was a law passed by Harvey Bernard. No, I'm sorry. It wasn't passed by Harvey Bernard, but it was a law proposed by Harvey Bernard, and he, he worked with the C he's CIA. He was a CIA agent. So this, um, yeah, there are different laws on the um, that have been um, put out there, but uh, this is the only one that has actually been voted on by Bill Clinton in October of, I'm sorry, signed by, signed by Bill Clinton, October, 2000. I talk about that and changes on the horizon. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he did sign that, but then they did nine 11 to stop it. Yeah. So it was supposed to be announced on, um, there we go. Okay. That's, it was signed October 10th. So that was going to be announced on September 11th, 2001. And, uh, yeah, it's here, right here on, on, the, on the 9th of 2001, um, Congress passed resolutions approving it. Then on the 10th, George Bush Sr. moved into the White House to steer his son how to block the announcement. And that was also the day that, that Rump, Donnie, um, Donald Rumsfeld uh, said that, uh, I don't, a couple trillion dollars, I forgot how much it was, three or four trillion dollars went missing from the Pentagon budget. Do you recall that, that Anthony? Uh, I don't, but that all adds up. <laughs> Yeah. So the, yeah, they, they said some yeah trillions of dollars went missing. And um, so, I mean, so that was already disclosure. And then it was going to be announced at 10 a.m. And Alan Greenspan was already there. He was scheduled to announce the new U.S. Treasury Bank System, debt forgiveness for all citizens, U.S. US citizens, that is, an abolishment of the IRS. So, at, and then uh, what happened, of course, we all know what happened at 9 a.m., Bush Sr. ordered the demolition of the World Trade Center. And of course, Anthony, you were mentioning about the holograms. <laughs> yes, 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 I, I am. And, and uh, I mean, uh, I'm not going to get too into it right now because that's a deep t subject. But this book, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, hold on. Let me let me bring you up on your. There you go. Under an ionized sky. What by from chemtrails to space fence lockdown. Yeah. What's that about? Uh, this this book definitely goes into all of the covert weaponry that was used in that attack, which has to do with uh, directed energy weapons, has to do with holograms, and all of that. So um, that this this book goes deeply into revealing uh, that attack and what was the the weaponry that was actually involved in it, which does involve holograms. And um, and obviously the, the planes did not fly into the buildings, and uh, there was uh, obviously alien technology used in 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 that attack, which I'm not going to get into. Right. Now. Okay. 
Uh, well, all right. Yeah, so we know about the holograms, and uh, then they use the um, um, the the plasma weapons to cause the the, the metal to deter, uh, to turn into dust. Uh, so they were using some Tesla, I guess Tesla technology, uh, for the at least World Trade Center. Misusing it, misusing it. Yeah, correct. And then uh, and then also in the Pentagon, they I I thought they they had the. Uh, a plane that had a dr like a drone craft that had um, a missile payload, uh, but that might have also been a, a hologram too. Well, well, um, I I'm not going to get too into it right now because uh, it is it is a thing. But um, the TR series crafts have the ability to uh, project themselves as holograms, so people will actually see TR series crafts flying around um, as planes in black helicopters. And all these things, but they're actually TR series crafts, which are black triangles. And um, when people see black helicopters and planes flying around them, they're actually TR series crafts that are uh, projecting holograms. And that same technology was used in 9 11. So a TR series craft um, fired a projectile into the building. Yeah, I'm not going to disagree with that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just moving forward. This, this is uh, these are um, what you're reading here is from my the the transcripts from my uh, Nassar video or the script that I wrote uh, years ago, and you can find the link. To, uh, by the way, go to the link on my my profile. Somebody copied it and edited it and uploaded their channel, and uh, YouTube rewarded them with more, giving them hundreds of thousands of views, and they hardly gave me anything. Um, and it and that video is being censored. Any really. The, the accurate information about Nasara is being censored as well as super soldier content because didn't you just mention this Anthony that um, uh, Carrie Cassidy was recently demonetized as well as Miles Johnston on YouTube uh, which is unfortunate yeah it's unfortunate but it's happening for a reason you know and and that, that it's it, it seems bad but it's actually good because things things are are, are happening and they're coming out. So that's why this is happening. All right. Yeah, thank you, Anthony. Okay, so let me go pull up my notes here. What else we're going to, we, if you wanna talk about some of the, anything else about Nasara? He feels relevant at this time? Well, well, I, 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 uh, I, I can say um, that, that I've been having, um, dreams and memories of, of receiving uh, substantial amounts of money. And obviously, um, those that are uh, holders of, of the trust are, are going to receive this um, when the time comes. So I've, I have been receiving dreams of this. And um, so this is definitely um, supporting what I've always known my whole life is going to happen. And um, even uh, the mystery schools I've been involved in, uh, which actually does involve uh, an entity named Ramtha. He does say that um, you've always been a millionaire, you know, and now um, that I realize what being a super soldier is and how many billions of dollars are spent on us, um, once uh, the, the, the program is now underneath um, White Hat and Alliance control, um, the money now can be actually um, distributed out to those that have been involved in the program, which are millions. And um, because there are millions of targeted individuals that have uh, been involved in the program. And um, it, is, it is to my understanding that these um, targeted individuals and those that have been involved in the secret space program are gonna be acknowledged as veterans in the future. And they are going to get all the benefits um, that that veterans get. So that that is my understanding. Hey, I'm I'm here. I had to click like four or five different buttons to, to get to the unmute. Uh, it's it's so annoying. Uh, I was trying to uh, find a reference in my book. I I did talk a little bit about the cost of the cloning tech. Uh, yeah, I mean the the trip seats. It, um, 
I, so, I think they cost somewhere between 11 to 20 million dollars and they have it's mostly gold the clones themselves uh although i mean they're, they're made in the regen tanks but there's a lot of femtotech and nanofibers and so on um but uh they have uh replicator technology so it's not really a, a cost per se but if like darpa was to work on a create a super soldier they would need to spend billions of dollars on and, and they do and they do and, and they do that's the thing. So um, they do create super soldiers and they do need this money. And this is where people's tax tax money is going, um, you know, for, for to create these um, technologies for um, things like DARPA, you know, uh, for organizations like DARPA. Okay, well, I, I, I'm gonna agree with you on that. I, I but I really think that the tax money is being used as a, a bundled derivative and then it's leveraged out and uh, marketed as products that are traded between central banks, these cash flows. And uh, that, that money is then, um, uh, it makes about one, one to 3% per day as it trades between the central banks, these, uh, these funds. And that the generation of these, these bankroll programs is what's funding the secret space program. But I'm, I'm certainly not disagreeing with you. I, I just think that- uh, That is, dude, you're, you, that resonates for sure. Yeah, yeah, and the, these these bankroll programs have been going on since um, the the, uh, the creation of the Federal Reserve. It's meant uh, for the elites. It's actually they're supposed to release the money for humanitarian purposes. Almost none of it ever gets to that point. I think maybe the Marshall Plan in Germany when they rebelled Germany, they didn't want to let the Germans starve to death because they were worried that another uh, Nazi regime would arise. So the only time they do it is like when they're when there's strategic reasons that to maintain their power uh, not because they really care about people but um, yeah um, so certainly uh, and then also the underground bases there's a lot of personnel there's there's there could be hundreds of thousands of people down there and um, some of them are promised money they're promised uh, yeah uh, um, I did I forgot sorry I forgot how much well, the, we did a one time where I was working I think it was with David Latherington and he was doing a remote viewing session and, and some of the some of the people um, I think it was a base in Colorado um, were remote viewing us um, and they were worked for the cabal and we asked them how much money they were were promised and I think they might have said like 150,000 or a hundred thousand dollars a year or something like that and then um, we told them that most likely at the end of their service their memories are going to be wiped and they're going to be returned back um, and they're not going to even they're not going to get any of their money. And it really confused them. It confused them. <laughs> they're so, they're, I, but I think there's a lot of mind control and they're like so programmed to like not, when you're, when you're in these projects, they program you to not think about these things. Just like most people, um, I, I think a lot of people out, out in the civilian, you know, here on planet earth, um, they're so programmed to not think about what we're discussing they, it, it's just so far out of the realm of understanding people that are involved with uh targeting targeted individuals that get promised money and 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 all these things and they're involved in these nefarious operations um to target individuals and they're promised money to do it so i i can definitely um attest to what you're saying uh is there anything else you wanted to go over Oh, fool, man. <sighs> that, that, that pretty much does it. But I mean, I mean, uh, what I really want to uh, uh, say is like, it, it's very clear that disclosures happen, you know, like, like every, like the, everybody in the UFOlogy community, like all the people that are in this should understand that it's happened. <laughs> and, uh, and, and I mean, so this is the moment this is, a, this is the time we've been waiting for. And of course, we want it to happen faster, um, but it is happening. Um, and for the optimal, the optimal timeline, uh, trajectory is, is, is getting played out. So the optimal timeline for this planet, uh, the plan is, is happening. So yeah. that, that is a very positive thing uh, to, to, to be aware of. Well, one of the provisions um, under the Nassara law requires that new elections would take place in 120 days. That was, uh, that was uh, provision number eight in that list I showed earlier here. 
And that's because our government is so infiltrated with so many people who are not even allowed to be in office under the TONA Amendment, which is the Titles of Nobility. Um, TONA basically prohibits anyone who's an attorney or doctor from holding office. And right now, our, our government is loaded with attorneys. And they vote themselves. Um, once they get in office, they know how to manipulate laws to maintain their power. And so the, the goal is to give us a refresh start. So new elections take place. Now, if, uh, if election day is November 5th here in the United States anyway, since NSR affects the U.S., I mean, it affects, it affects the whole world through, um, through the reformation that take place in the U.S. But, um, you know, 120 days before the elections it would be uh, the July roughly around the July 4th holiday. So um, it's possible we might see it at that point. Uh, I really do feel it's very close, but you know, obviously I can't prove any of this. We're just speculating. Uh, the Trump administration may not even go down the Nassar route. Maybe they'll just do what I just told you earlier about the $100 trillion account that they're gonna use to bring about Space, space Force and um, the new gold back treasury. So, you know, even if they get those two, you know, um, uh, projects brought out here, uh, initiatives released, that would change the whole world because for starters, under Space Force, we would have amazing technologies. Money would be obsolete in 10 years. With rep with the Trump, Trump, Trump just rolled in the Space Force flag. What? You know, he, uh, Trump, Trump just rolled out the Space Force flag. That, that was you, another. Yeah. You mean he, it said UFO on it? Yeah. Yeah, and that was another coded cryptic message to those that that can hear and see. Um, but but it's very clear that it's getting rolled out. So, <laughs> I mean, those that those that um, can 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 hear and see will know what's actually happening right now. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to find that that image uh, for. Um when they rolled it out, but uh, I mean, I mean, they're, they're rolling Google out the space operating. It has the Pleiades, it has the Pleiades on the flag, you know? So, I mean, that that's another connection uh, with the with the Pleiadian guidance that's happening because they are the, the uh, civilization and race that's one revolution um, ahead of us in the galaxy. So they are from our future, helping us now. Yeah. So, so essentially the U, the way this was, it was rolled up, this U was looked right, like it was right next to the F and O. So yeah, <laughs> that's, that's what we're, we were getting at there. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to go check the chat room. Uh, we were an hour and a half here. Um, we have some more questions. Uh, so let's go back here. Maybe we'll start with, um, uh, let's see here. I'm looking for some good ones. Somebody commented, Lotherington is nice. Uh, I enjoy the interview. Um, James, uh, yeah, okay, you're welcome. Why are so many hush, why are people so many people hush hush about the Ashtar Galactic Commander? Do you have any information about Ashtar? Um, that, that's one aspect I haven't been involved in, but I just recently got involved in someone that was about Ashtar Command. And I think that the reason why everyone's so hush hush is because no one really knows <laughs> what's going on with the Ashtar Command. <laughs> so that, yeah. that, that would be that. Right. Well, well, Peter, the insider, says Ashtar has been, uh, their spaceships are killing people. And then um, when I confronted uh, somebody in, uh, uh, through a channel message, to, well, not Ashtar, but underneath them about this, uh, they were complaining about um, the ACIO killing people. Um, not, not necessarily. I'm, I'm, refer I'm referring to Division Six Men in Black. So, uh, you know, mm -hmm. every, I really think a lot of these group organizations, a lot of them are are dirty at some level. Um, not everybody is a, a is a Boy Scout out there or a saint, but um, ultimately, <laughs> he is. is work, that, work that, that's really upon because when you're fighting darkness, you have to go dark. Okay, I, th I think somebody must be using Netflix on your connection. It's kind of breaking up. Um, maybe, maybe we should call it a night. But I mean, um, we did have a few more questions. Did you want to? Did you want to stick around for a few more questions? Yeah, 
I'm 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 good with that for sure. If the connection is good. Yeah. Well, I'll continue on here as long as we can somewhat hear you. Uh, someone is asking here about the Anshar and the on Ashtar. Anshar have a live underground. They're basically the vampires. They're more like a psychic vampire. I don't know if they eat physical blood. Do you have any information on the Anshar, Anthony? Um, on that, I do not. Okay. All right. So next question. What will come after Trump's terms are over? Will the country survive? North America merge into one. Uh, people will be very surprised. <laughs> people are going to be very surprised once uh, the second term hits. Because in, in the first term, he did say uh, that we would be going into space and releasing the technologies of Tarma. So when, once the tech second term hits, people will be surprised about what is happening. And that will be the future um, being been to, to now, finally, for humanity. Okay. Uh, all right, great. Thanks, Anthony. Uh, so I guess I, I could comment a little bit about that. Uh, certainly the United States will survive, and but uh, whether or not uh, how, how maybe we might actually see a, a one world type government, but it may not it won't be controlled by the dark force. Um, it'll be more of a mutual cooperation with ETs to, to represent all of humanity, not like the UN, which um, is controlled with another cabal organization. How that's all going to come to be, I don't know. Um, we'll, we'll, but uh, but you know, humans are not the only ones on this planet. We have we have dolphin races, and they want they would like to see themselves represented on um, our councils to interact with because it, it, we share this planet with other species. And there's also, of course, we mentioned the Anshar, but there's the um, and on the show last week we talked about Ashlyn, which is a city on the bottom of the Atlantic where Atlantis used to be. It actually is Atlantis. It's a biodome covered it up. And there's 300 million people that live down there, and they look look very similar to us. Except they're a lot taller, um, probably smarter, and um, yeah, more DNA psychic abilities activated. But yeah, um, yeah. So certainly, when we talk about a lot of people are focusing here, in the, at least in the United States, or if you're not in the United States, whatever country you're on, you're, all, you're, you're thinking about in terms of this country, that country, but there are, other, there are other beings out there that we should also consider bringing into these councils because we share this planet. Um, okay. Uh, where, we, where, we go, where we go and we go. There you go. Okay. Uh, do you see real justice happening for the people of Earth? Question mark. Are there any of these big names going to Gitmo? Because I'm not trying to lose face, but faith, okay, go on. What do you think? Um, do you think we'll see real justice? <laughs> yes, yes I do. And I know for a fact I've been in tribunals. I have memories of being in tribunals where, peop uh, where these people were being tried. And um, Trump did fill up Gitmo for a reason because all these people are being put in there. And um, the plan is to reveal this to the people about all of the, uh, the tribunals happening and the swamp being drained, and all of these uh, real terrorists uh, being brought to justice. So I know that is going to happen for a fact. Very okay. Yeah, th thank you, Anthony. Uh, Joseph was commenting, I served under Commander Ashtar. They never killed. We delivered food to planets that were on the brink of extermination. Um, I think it may have had to do with them firing up their, uh, their motherships. It Great earthquakes, but um, I'm not quite sure. I think you, that should be related to Peter, the insider, to ask about that. Okay, um, moving on here. Uh, do we make it to 2024 globally? Of course we do. Time is going to keep going on. What the world's going to be like is going to be a lot different in 2024. It'll be much positive for the people of the planet, as long as you're the, of the of the life forces. Um, someone here was, well, like you want to comment about that? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, the future, I mean, people can't imagine it, but the future involves us exploring space as a species. So it's time to get ready for that. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. And so I, uh, I'm not reading any of your comments. I, I don't know where you're getting that from. Uh, so someone was asking about COVID vaccine will be stopped. 
what do you think, Anthony? Should, should we get uh, vaccinated? And what do you think about the, the COVID vaccine? That, that plan will be stopped. That plan will be, it is, it is going to be stopped, obviously. Um, that was their last, um, one of their last, uh, uh, you know, attempts to control humanity. And it is still going on now because there are still people underneath extreme mind control. And uh, but once people um, awaken up to the uh, truth about the COVID virus and how it was created and how the numbers were manipulated, that is when the government will fall. That is when um, actually two governments will fall. But people are going to then realize what the truth is about the COVID virus. And then that is when actually everything will change. People will want answers and want, will want truth. And then that's when the truth will come out, is when the truth about the COVID virus is revealed to the people, which is which definitely on its way. Yeah, and I also think people, they're gonna change the rules to allow you to sue the pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical companies for giving you autism or cancer, or it should be for ADHD, because yeah, there's gonna be 90% of yeah. cases. There's gonna be a lot of justice, there's gonna be a lot of justice coming. Very much. There, there, there's justice being served right now. It's just not in the mainstream public, but it is happening behind the scenes. Okay. Uh, reasons deranged asking about three days of darkness. I think that has to do with Nibiru. I, I don't see that happening on this timeline, but Anthony, what do you think? We'll see three days of darkness. Um, I've heard about, about three days of darkness being um, the shutdown and the, the, the shutdown of the media as well. Um, which which would make sense, you know, and that, that would be the degree of darkness on, on this level. All right. Or, yeah, well, you're breaking up really bad. Um, I mean, audience members, do you want me to continue on with these questions? Because yeah, um, I'll, I'll, I'll continue going if you guys if at least can somewhat understand Anthony. Um, but uh, yeah. A few more things in here. Uh, COVID is collapsing on itself. It's not safe. Va vaccines are never tested, and so they cannot prove it's safe. Uh, yeah, and some of the whistleblowers that have come on my show, as well as what we heard on Project Camelot, remote viewers, have, has saw basically see COVID being a synthetic AI. And um, if you were to vaccinate for it, it would actually infect because you can't. Yeah, you have to. Um, he, uh, yeah, it's not. It's it's basically I hate to call it alive or it's it's an organism <laughs> whatever you would define life is. Chemical AI weapon actually is dimensional, and um, and, and and Mobius and Monarch are actually uh, involved in 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 employing that weapon interdimensionally. Which, which I know I can I can talk to you about that on this show, but on others I can't because the information is is coming way ahead of, of what people are ready for. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, what people are asking to keep going. Well, I would keep going. I think we're starting to run out of questions here. Um, someone asked here, does Trump have a clone? What do you think? Has he been cloned out or is does he have a clone or? Yes, he has. Yes, he has. Is that coming from uh, firsthand uh, knowledge? Like, did you actually witness a cloning lab with Trump? A definite intuitive understanding of the cloning process and who they clone and why they clone them. So I'm absolutely sure because that does involve, uh, you know, futuristic uh, living is this having a clone that, that your, your consciousness can be transmitted to. Yeah, well, in the past, they would use cabal cloning centers to replace certain presidents, like, for instance, um, Ronald Reagan. He was trying to uh, uh, return um, back, I think it was around 1982, he mentioned that none of the money that's paid to the IRS goes to the federal government. And um, so right after he made that announcement, that's when they, they uh, Hinckley killed him. Um, he was, uh, um, I think, a uh, was it Hinckley's father was friends with George Bush Sr. There was a there was a connection there, but uh, yeah, that's just one example. But in the case of Trump, um, even if they did clone him, it, it appears that uh, that 
him being a, an ET basically means that uh, his soul can connect to the clone. So it's still essentially him. Um, but, you know, that that's just, that's not from firsthand. But, what? There's lots of stuff there. Yeah, okay. It's just you're breaking up so bad I can barely hear you. Um, okay, well, I, I think this might be a good place to stop tonight. Um, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, audience members, for your questions. Uh, I really appreciate, uh, obviously, you too, Anthony, for participating. Do you happen to have a website or a book where people can find more, learn more about you? Well, I, I do. I do have a book. Um, it's called Stun of the Morning, and um, it, it's it's on Amazon. It's underneath a pen name, Anthony Kaminsky. Um, that's my book. But um, I, I want to say thank you to you, James, because you are doing uh, an amazing job with with getting all this information out. Um, I really do want to um, give my 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 honor and condolences to you for doing everything you're doing. So thank you. Sorry about that. So many buttons I have to click. Okay, I wanted. I was trying to share my screen here. I, I found your book. Uh, yeah, so is that it? Did I, did I did I get the right one? That is, that is it. Okay, there. So there you go. You can go get that. Um, now, if you want to learn more about what I do, you can go to supersoldiertalk.com, and um, I got posts on here. You can see some of the new ones. What just recently? I got another update about the Brazil, yeah, um, UFO. So you can go check that out. Uh, so there's a link. Uh, you, if you want to donate, you can go there. But you can get my book by visiting. Um, it's on my uh, Neological Tech. And this is a, the, our show sponsor because the show channel is demonetized. But you can go here and purchase a meditation cube or you can get my book. And uh, yeah, that all helps support the show. So go check that out. Um, all right. And uh, audience, also, I want to mention to the audience members to be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so. Yeah, and uh, thanks again for listening in. And uh, any any final comments, Anthony? Um, no, that's it. I just want to say live long and prosper. And um, definitely uh, the future is very bright. So um, definitely hope in in what's happening is uh, is 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 a good thing. And uh, uh, it is it is happening. You know, um, disclosure is happening. So. <laughs> yeah thanks a lot anthony thank you audience members and until next time bye bye see ya